to all the guests and dignitaries. I feel delighted to extend a warm greeting to all of you for today's DigiSaksham webinar on reduce, reuse, and recycle key to waste management. On behalf of PG Saksham, I, Shilpa Sharma, extend a warm greetings to all of you. Before I go any further, I would take, I would like to take um, to mention to introduce my organization. DG Saksham is an initiative of SEMS Group, which has developed content for over 3,000 courses in multiple languages, which ranges from four hours to six months in various sectors of IT, BFSI, retail, and entrepreneurship for all the age groups from school children, youth, professionals, and senior citizens. DG Saksham has also conducted more than 150 webinars, 10 plus FDPs and workshops, seven international conferences, and DG Saksham has impacted more than 15,000 lives through various webinars, conferences, workshops, seminars across the globe. The topic for today's webinar is Reduce, Reuse, Recycle, Key to Waste Management by Mr. Himanshu Rajendra Bhai Bhutia, sir. The three R's, Reduce, Reuse, and Recycle, all helps you cut, cut down on amount of waste we throw away. They conserve natural resources, landfill space, and energy. Plus, the three R's saves land and money that communities must use to decompose waste and landfills. I am profusely elated to take an opportunity to introduce our chief guest of the day, Mr. Himanshu Rajendra Bhai Bhutia, sir. Mr. Himanshu, sir, is an environmental professional with total six years of experience in core domains of chemical and FMGs industries, possesses bachelors of technology in chemical engineering, postgraduate diploma in environmental law and policy, and post-diploma in industrial safety. The world is full of diamonds and gems, and we are having one of them here to build this event. With this note, I would like to give my heartiest welcome to our guest speaker, Mr. Himanshu, sir, with big, big round of applause. Before going any further, I request all the participants to remain mute through the webinar. And if you have any doubt, you can type in the chat box or you can also raise your hand. So please take charge. All right. Uh... Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Shilpa, for this, you know, illustrated introduction. Thank you so much. And the shortest introduction of myself would be that uh, an environment enthusiast, or you may say environmentalist, working towards uh, making a sustainable environment and uh, uh, making our ecological uh, uh, ecology in right set order to balance the uh, ecosystem. Thank you so much, uh, Seams and uh, the organization, organizers of this uh, um, webinar for giving me this opportunity to present myself and as well as my thoughts, which are not new to us, but somewhere, somehow, you know, education of this is uh, required everywhere. And uh, before we start, I'll excuse myself from, you know, uh, showing the uh, showing my video. I'll stop the video due to internet connectivity so that, you know, my bandwidth gets uh, used in my uh, audio. So thank you so much. And the topic, of course, it's uh, it started with a beautiful proverb by Shilpa, the reduce, reuse and recycle the three R's, okay? So uh, I'll take you to the very first slides for uh, a video, which I would like to play. And I wish that it gets audible to everyone. Is it audible? In the universe are billions of galaxies. Yes. In our galaxy are billions of planets, but there is only one Earth. For most of our history, humans lived in harmony with nature. But we have shattered that balance, exploiting our planet for products and wealth, causing a climate catastrophe, driving species to extinction, and torching our land, seas, and air. The way of life is free. If it fails, we as a species will fail too. The science is clear. 
and time is running out. We must go from harming our planet to healing. We must protect what we have and bring back what we lost to advance to a more sustainable future where to prevent the environmental catastrophes. We have helped prepare the ozone layer. We have restored millions of hectares of land and marine ecosystems, protecting thousands of species. And we ban dangerous pollutants. Saving countless lives. Let those victories be the torches that ignite more action. Dangerous pollutants. Saving countless lives. Let those victories be the torches that ignite more action and illuminate the path to a world in which we are once again at peace with nature. In the universe are billions of galaxies. In our galaxy, are billions of planets, but there is only one Earth. So long, planet of Earth. We are bigger each. He will be the For a family. Yeah, so it's a wonderful video. Uh, only one Earth right the recently celebrated uh, world environment day on 5th june the theme was only one earth okay we have only one planet one earth where we can sustain life okay we, where, where life is possible and with this theme you uh, united nation wanted to you know um, grow a light throw a light on on the on the urge to save our planet that is only one earth okay and uh, uh, the video itself is a message that yes we have uh, done a save of our earth and it requires still more efforts more efforts more and more efforts to 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 make this uh, earth uh, a beautiful earth which it used to be earlier right so uh, that was about the earth the one earth the video uh coming to our topic i would you know set a background for the topic that you know environmental uh, uh, requirements okay why we should go for reduce reuse recycle the 3r principle behind 3r so the need of the r the need of this uh, time is that due to the increased uh, pollution okay even the types of pollution have now uh, come up and got increased so so it 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 is our you know moral responsibility as well as wherever we are working in our you know surroundings we keep a check of ourselves that what can we do to adopt this 3r principle and uh, when it comes to the pollution environment pollution so of course you know there are n number of uh, reasons of pollution major uh, pollution air pollution of course you also know light pollution light pollution new to the uh, which which gives that uh, unnecessary usage of artificial light and blocking the you know uh natural light is also termed as light pollution of course the land pollution noise pollution okay radioactive uh, uh pollution or contamination is there thermal pollution excessive liberation of uh, heat from the industrial activity as, as well as the transportation those things visual pollution like you can see in the last picture in the rightmost uh, bottommost corner you see a picture which is showing you the visual pollution so you you can see x number of you know n number of colors and n number of posters n number of colors in those posters so those those are you know uh, uh, results of visual pollution when when you go through those visions it it creates a uh, imbalance in your uh, vision that is visual pollution water pollution of course the major one and the plastic pollution which is a great concern for us at this moment at this time particularly in air pollution or you say thermal pollution water pollution 
land getting polluted this n number of noise unnecessary noise in the environment which also was part of the issue. so this was the background that i wanted to you know have for all the audience and uh, why we are discussing the 3r called principles that is uh, 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 the set of that background so what is uh, we'll go through all the 3r's uh, one by one and uh, you know how we are dealing with those things and how we are you know we what we can do to the uh, principles so first is uh, reduce okay so what is reducing actually so by the terminology of course you all must be you know aware what is reducing it is lessening the amount of resources that are being consumed whatever the resource which we require for our uh, any activity whether it is domestic industrial well administrative are to be reduced and we should only use as much as we are in requirement of okay sometimes foods get uh, food get wasted so we buy bulk of food and it, it gets wasted but our our actual demand of the food is, is not that much so we are wasting the food so we should buy reasonably whatever is required to us we should you know uh, uh, have a ration in in the uh, need of our resources then to minimize the amount of energy and waste of course we waste lot of our energy in those uh, uh, things and a waste lot of amount of waste is generated so reducing our need or reducing or lessening the amount of our resources will save our energy as well as uh, uh, waste generation because handling waste is also one of the you know major task and it also means to save something or use less or it is also good because if we save nat natural resources such as oil we won't run out of course that's right that uh, uh, there there are many natural resources employed or deployed behind uh, a particular activity natural resources are used behind any uh, activity so so those resources will also get saved okay they will also be utilized for some other purpose or you can say that those resources will be diverted to a other uh, uh, requirement so reduce the amount of resource that we are actually required to you know uh, 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 in our activity we can reduce as a, at an individual level also right we can we can do our bit by you know uh, doing bit by bit a drop or drop uh, constitute an ocean right so every person at his his or her uh, at individual capacity can do something about reduce like simple simple techniques switching off the lights and you know appliances electrical appliances when when they are not in used or we don't want to use them right we are not in need of that of course saving water in every industrial you know industrial domestic in every activity you take you you must be requiring water that is a natural resource to us it's a god gifted resource to us so we can do our bit to to uh, save that uh, natural resource and this will lead to us a great future okay then uh, of course small small things that we are in shower and you know on on and on we are keeping the tap on or we are taking showers for hours and hours and wasting uh, a lot of amount of water that is also a small step which we all can adopt to it okay there are paper paper are made of course you know that it is a natural resource that is trees which wood wood from wood the paper is made so wasting paper and you know using uh, non recyclable plastic bags those those are you know some small steps which we all can you know take ourselves and you contribute in reducing so i guess everybody is clear what does the principle r for reduce means it means to lessen the amount of resources that is to be required here are another you know 
examples just for uh, an understanding i have listed down that we can buy something which is used by someone okay there is, is there anything that we can be reused by us okay we can take them or remanufacture them something which can be remanufactured from a particular waste okay we can buy you know bulk uh, rather than multiple uh, small packages to increase in decrease the amount of packaging waste created and so we can reduce the packaging also here i will also you know let you know that in our day to day life we go to grocery shops or we go to you know malls and buy our daily necessities so i have seen many people you know they are having moped or two wheeler in india two wheeler is very popular and you know four four wheelers they they constantly in a day they go to the shops for uh, you know in a day to four to five times so 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 that is uh, what we can avoid so right? like we can plan our visit we can you know sort out our things and then uh, um, we can you know lessen the amount of uh, uh, trips that we go to the uh, to go to to go to the shops and buy things like right So this will save fuel. This will save lots of energy, time. Okay. So those those are our you know individual level where we can you know pitch in. We can re use you know uh, recyclable shopping bags. We can use you know pouches, tetra packs instead of you know having the plastic bags. We can use recyclable bottles also. Like we use use and throw bottles, like plastic bottles. We use and if once it's done, we throw it. so those things do matter okay um uh, in our day to day life and this will of course you know uh, have a, a much greater impact when we see the world's population okay we maintain repair durable items there are some items which can be repaired some items which can be you know small fixations and maintenance done and it's working so those things like majorly we do with the electronic appliances like electronic appliances small devices which gets you know defaulted and we throw them so what we do we generate lot of e waste by throwing them directly instead of throwing we can you know either meant it to repair or maintain or show it to some the technicians with with who can you know uh, make it usable so we will be contributing in less uh, e waste generation we can borrow rent share items okay there are many items which we can you know borrow with somebody uh, the items which can be borrowed i'm not talking about everything but something which can be borrowed or shared we can donate of course donation is the biggest uh, you know boon for us so we can donate items all right we can do composting backyard composting okay instead of uh, you know throwing our uh, horticulture waste on the garden we directly into the dumping yards or dumping bin we can have some composting meant for them uh, a homemade compost or an organic compost out of them so such steps taken will definitely you know uh, help us to reduce uh, uh, our uh, waste okay reduce in terms of waste management when we say so it is to reduce the waste okay whatever the waste is generated and at an average and and a human being generates approx you know 10 to 12 kg of waste okay in a day so that is uh, uh, this this also accounts the waste water the waste domestic water okay the waste which we uh, generate every day so that is at an individual level and those waste okay where it goes it goes to something called landfill okay some some waste cannot be you know um, maintained or repaired or you know they cannot be recycled right they cannot be uh, used back somewhere and sometimes it happens that the segregation of waste is not correct okay there happens that lot of uh, uh, waste gets mixed whether it is dry waste wet waste every type of waste gets mixed and it's impractical to separate them then it directly goes to a site which is called landfill it gets landfill so landfilling sites are you know uh, dedicated place for dumping the garbage 
and it is being buried in between the layer of uh, you know mud dirt or soil it is directly dumped into the you know innermost trust of the uh, soil or the land and uh, it 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 is uh, buried under the layers of uh, the dirt so whether it is plastic whether it is you know um, uh, glass whether it is uh, plastic materials more or the less plastic materials are there which cannot be you know uh, uh, re reuse that's why it goes into the landfilling so uh, in india i'm sure it's co common and often regulated by government agency they decide a landfilling site a garbage dumping site from where you know the landfilling happens and this is also a place where you know uh, they they segregate the waste as well the waste scavengers or the waste pickers they do uh, segregate in a small a very small amount but they do segregate the waste which they can use or take back or something and how does a landfill site work so it's a solid waste compacted in the layers of course each layer is covered with a, a layer of soil or the mud or dirt and paper takes up as much as you know 50% of all the landfill space whereas rest is the plastic waste and all you know that plastic do not get decomposed it it it, it takes years and years on you know to get that decomposed and it also liberates uh, uh, chemical uh, gases harmful gases when it starts to you know uh, get decay so this is uh, one of the major reason of land pollution or the plastic pollution so that was about the reuse reduce right and uh, here i have taken an example of uh, letting you, you know an industrial example i have taken hope my slide is visible to you all okay uh, it talks about an industrial example now industries there are n number of processes going on whether it is manufacturing industry whether it is you know uh, any service industry or whether it is any uh, you know you, you say uh, energy uh, industry thermal en industries where some sort of processes are taking place so where i i have you know worked upon or where i have um, uh, uh, realized the opportunity for reducing the waste it here is an example that um, in a chemical industry where which is supposed to uh, produce calcium chloride right calcium chloride is a name of a chemical the engineering guys must be aware about this so it takes limestone and hydrochloric acid to uh, produce calcium chloride okay so during this reaction of this two limestone and hydrochloric acid there there there, there is unreacted limestone which is generated now whatever the limestone gets reacted with hydrochloric acid will be forming calcium chloride but there is some portion of limestone which do not react which is called unreacted limestone now th that limestone contributes to 800 kg approximately 800 kg of unreacted limestone to produce approximately 10 ton of ca uh, calcium chloride okay so this unreacted limestone is again a source of waste it it's a waste and it needs to be dumped or it needs to be you know sorted out to sort this waste so it's a huge quantity of waste getting generated from this particular product so what we uh, uh, did or or the engineers did that uh, why don't we charge this unreacted limestone again back to any another reactor and giving some high concentration of hcl to react with okay and then they saw that yes the final amount after the another batch of uh, reaction the final amount was reduced to 300 to 350 kg only so the 800 to they brought it down to 300 to 350 kg so it's a good example that you know the amount of waste that was generated earlier that is 800 kg is being reduced to 300 to 350 kg so this way we thought of an example so with this way we can thought of some engineering where we can apply our basics and reduce try to reduce the waste here i have taken or quoted an industrial example of course you must be working in your field and you must be having n number of examples as such where you can you know adopt this principle of reducing waste 
So uh, think of a similar illustration where principle of reduce can be used. You can, you know, how, how you gonna do that? So, uh, I mean, there are simple ways to attack on three things that is consider your raw material, okay? Not just the manufacturing industry, not just the service industry. I'm talking also about the IT industries, the IT professionals, the academicians. Think of your raw material, okay? How much your raw material is required? What is the source of your raw material? Is this a sustainable source? Is this a, you know, um, uh, environment friendly uh, source sourcing of raw material? So you can have a uh, look on, on that aspect as well to reduce the waste. Next, you can do, of course, your packaging material. There is, you know, lots of packaging uh, drama that is happening every day. We have e, you know, websites, we have e-shoppings uh, and lots of packaging comes along when we do e-shopping. So, of course, we can think of some, having some recyclable packaging material or we can avoid uh, packaging material where it is not required, okay? So consider that terminology also in your process, okay? When we buy some, you know, appliances, electronic appliances we buy, definitely it comes with some packaging. So can we think whether it can be reduced, uh, uh, avoided, or whether uh, that packaging can be made of recyclable material, which can be, you know, recycled and don't contribute in, in the waste, okay? So that can be thought of. Of course, the process that we go through, consider your process, how the process is, what are we doing in the process? This is an example of an industrial example, the process of making calcium chloride. So you in your own field, of course, uh, must be having different, different processes to go through, right? So saving electricity, saving electricity is one of the ways to uh, reduce the uh, coal consumptions or whatever the fossil fuels are meant to uh, generate electricity. So this is the way where, where we can, you know, uh, this these are the areas where we more focus to adopt the principle of reduce. Then we have is reuse. So oh, of course the word is very very uh, common and everybody knows the meaning of reusing, but it's finding ways to use the material again so that they don't go to waste. Right, the simplest form of reusing it do not contribute in the waste quantum, okay? If, if we meant to have some something which can be reused again, which we, we can reuse, uh, we, we can use it, use it again, so th that won't go as a waste. And why reducing things? Like why, why, we, we, why we do reusing things? So conserves resources, of course, the papers, right? For example, papers are there, which can be re reused, okay? We, we uh, thereby we will conserve the resources, reduce our waste stream, like we attack on the reduce, the principle, the first R principle, then definitely there's no point of, you know, reusing something. So that is uh, one major point. Saves, our deal, saves or delays the purchasing and disposal cost. Of course, when we reuse something, it saves our cost. Okay, we are reusing some uh, some paper or some material or some gift articles or something, anything that we have with us. And it also delays or it also, you know, uh, ways, uh, saves our energy in purchasing those things. Causes less pollution than recycling or making new products for the virgin material, right? So virgin materials uh, consume energy, consumes, you know, packaging material. Uh, it, it requires some form of energy to make uh, uh, material from the uh, product from the virgin materials. So it, it, it causes pollution in that, okay. So those uh, things can be considered, makes uh, needed items available to those who can, can't afford to buy them. Of course, reusing, like if we are giving someone to reuse that, then uh, if they are not able to buy the new product, then they can make use of that. And how do we, you know, reuse it? What what can we do to reuse? So, for example, pack lunch in reusable containers. Of course, it's a very small example to avoid plastic bags, right? We we have our, you know, um, pack pack every day. We have lunch at our office, at our school, at our colleges, right? We carry our own food. If if we carry our own food, then 
we make a habit of packing it in you know, reusable containers like glass containers or the you know metallic containers instead of having it in the use and throw plastic bags use uh, rechargeable batteries okay batteries also contribute to enormous amount of waste when it is uh, uh, in terms of waste so look for the products in uh, reusable packaging where when you shop okay always always search or always you know promote or always uh, go with the first priority for using the reusable packaging uh, products having reusable packaging and nowadays i'm seeing you know uh, the reusable packaging comes with lots of uh, glitters and uh, you know lots of uh, attractive uh, pictures or attractive uh, colors on them that it attracts the customer so that they they uh, easily get attracted to it and buy it so that's a good strategy to promote the reusable packaging donate unwanted clothes stuffings furniture books toys etc and repair things of course of replacing them use glass or plastic containers wherever possible and use reuse the envelopes so how do, can we reuse what sources can we reuse like one more example i would like to quote however it's not there in the slides but you know i'll i'll let you know an industrial example um, um in a beer manufacturing industry okay where malt right malt or wheat or rice is a major uh, raw material for making a beer okay so once the extracts of the rice or the malt or the wheat is done extracting is done and the leftover that is called you know uh, grains okay grains are there so those grains can be uh, you know it, it 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 is termed as waste for that industry now nothing is you know uh, uh, they don't require that waste once the extracting of the uh, wheat or the rice or the malt is done okay so that is called spent grain they called it spent grain the terminology is spent grain so once spent grain is generated they don't require it now what they do they sell it to either the cattle field okay the 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 ones who are you know employed in raising cattle okay and in the milking activity where you know a huge farm setup is there and they are having the cattle at their end and they they will use that spent grain as the uh, feed for the cattle okay that's a good source but uh, i have also seen that those uh, spent grains can be used as a packaging materials okay that is also used as a packaging material wherever you go to buy stuffs from grocery shop and the uh, the shopkeeper gives you a bag without you know uh, that instead of that plastic bag he, he gives you a, a, a brownish color dark brown color uh, bag is given to you how is that made like you know there are some ingredients uh, similar to this uh, spent grains of course uh, spent grains th there was a project done by you know one of the uh, leading uh, academic institute uh, they they made out some coffee mugs okay some some mugs uh, out of that uh, uh, spent grain they they compress that grain they you know uh, sterilize they uh, clean up the spent grains and they molded that compressed grains in the form of a coffee mugs and in india you must be aware of our cafe coffee day right ccd we call it so go to ccd and ask them for the uh, recyclable co coffee mugs okay they are there to buy so this is the big, best example of reusing a waste a waste can be you know can can create an opportunity for the wealth as well so waste is wealth and uh, there are enormous example for reusing the waste so that's that's a case study of you know spent grain getting generated from from uh, uh, beer and industry brewery okay heading further we will have the last uh, um, Uh, R that is uh, recycling. Okay, what is recycling? So recycling means separating, collecting, processing, and then finally, would have been thrown away, right? 
so there is a heap of dump or heap of you know uh, waste which is having x number of waste different different waste so from that waste of course we can you know make something re uh, use away recycle it so it is separating then you know need to collect it or you, you know you can fix it process it somewhere you can process it and ultimately use that material recycling is to reuse or reprocess the material it is more or the less you know you uh, a higher version of reuse where you do some reprocessing pre processing or co processing something you do with that waste either blend it with the other waste blend it with the other you know product and then you know make another product out of it that is recycling of uh, waste that's something that they are recycling what materials can you recycle so most materials can either be recycled reused or compost contact your city recycle center to find out what your uh, community recycles look out for okay of course there are materials which can be recyclable you all must be knowing in your day to day activity and that that material can be recycled how do you recycle check the arts for your local recycle centers or use the you know carbicide system most cities have set up and uh, there are papers aluminum cans the the another example that i would quote over here is aluminum cans now you know the the drinks the soft drinks as well as the hard drinks like beers they come in an aluminum can uh with the with the uh, can having the material of aluminum in it and aluminum is such a metal which you know do not react with carbon dioxide when carbon dioxide is purged into the uh, the liquid that is either uh, let's take an example of soft drink or beer when carbon dioxide is purged it don't react with the aluminum that's why aluminum is preferred uh, metal to manufacture a can okay so that aluminum once it once the once the beer is done and we throw that uh, can so it it contributes to the waste so that thing can also be recycled back the aluminum can be you know given another shape can be re reused in another uh, uh, product okay so that's that's something with respect to the recycling it's important recycling is very very important to save energy of course to save natural resources environmental conditions reduces pollution some economic benefits okay major economic benefits comes from the recycling okay when when something is recycled or reprocessed or co-processed with with some material then you get economic benefit as well you get the value of your uh, new product that is you know the sub product of recycling so of course economic benefits you can have uh, it saves space and waste disposal okay when when waste disposal is the ultimate solution then the space constraint is there that where to decompose where to uh, dispose it so it has that benefit as well and those are the benefits of recycling here are, are some statistics okay which which says that one plastic bottle stays uh, anywhere from 100 to you know 1000 years in the landfill okay because in landfill side once a plastic accommodates a space it will hold that space for next 100 to 1000 years and it also saves the environment from the emission like of course you know plastic liberates some emissions okay or whenever the plastic uh, beads are you know uh, the virgin plastic is molded into some uh, some form of uh, an article then it reduces liberates emissions so that can be you know saved every one ton of plastic that is recycled saves the equivalent of two people's energy use for uh, a year for the amount of water used by one person uh, okay Uh, every ton of office paper recycle saves the equivalent of 24 trees and every ton of steel recycle conserves you know some pounds of you know 2500 pounds of iron so those are the uh, 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 illustrations those are the statistics with respect to uh, saving or recycling 
newspaper uses 40% less energy glass uses 40% less energy recycled steel uses 60% less energy less energy in terms of when we go for a virgin material okay when we go for producing new product from the virgin material that amount of energy is less we have done with our reduce uh, reuse and recycling we have seen. but again i would you know emphasize on one source one one major uh, source contributing to waste nowadays and where the focus of you know uh, all the governments of course the all globe governments are focusing on a topic but especially when it comes to indian government or the indian context plastic uh, is is uh, plastic pollution is of major concern nowadays and that's why in the coming days you must be you know uh, seeing that a lot of things a lot of you know uh, awareness is being made for uh, not using single use plastics so what are plastics actually what what it it is it's just i mean uh, no need to you know go through the definitions or something but we are surrounded everywhere by plastic material okay right from your computers uh, um uh, what you call the uh, screen or the other the, the uh, keyboards where where some form of fiber or plastics are used yeah, our our you know uh, pockets our credit cards everything everywhere is the plastic plastic and plastic so wide range of synthetic and semi synthetic materials made up out of the polymers okay polymers are the main ingredients of making the plastics and which have some plasticity as as then uh, you know uh, uh, and plastic to be molded now plastic beads the virgin plastic it has the uh, you know characteristics of uh, plasticity which which makes it possible to get molded in any shape in any form in any various uh, uh, shapes that you want those those are the uh, plastics and the major one uh, is that plastic pollution okay what happens when a, a plastic gets you know uh, burned so it liberates some chlorinated uh, chemicals harmful chemicals into the surrounding soil or the atmosphere which can then seep into the ground or the surrounding water sources and also the ecosystem so once we dump the plastic in the in the in the dumping yard the, the landfill site where we saw in previous slide which we saw in previous slide so those plastic liberates chemical harmful chemicals while they get decomposed or decay and that contributes in the soil pollution or if it is dumped into a water body then it also pollutes the water sources and imbalances the ecosystem here in this pictures you see both form of land as well as water where plastic is being dumped okay and some form of you know some lines are written in a uh, language called hindi which i am i i think i suppose uh, the uh, participants outside india won't be able to understand so plastic is the major uh, you know uh, contributor nowadays in terms of waste okay and to combat this plastic the indian government or the ministry of environment forest and climate change brought the uh, uh, very very uh, 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 you know discussed uh, plastic waste management rules 2022 recently very recently where they have you know also notified the extended producer responsibilities what what is extended producer responsibility is that anyone who is you know in the business of manufacturing some plastic products then or using some plastic products okay those uh, is uh, the responsibilities of a producer or the uh, user uh, as part of epr that is extended producer responsibility for packaging materials biodegradable plastic means plastic other than compostable plastic which undergoes complete degradation by biological process under ambient temperature conditions and in specified time periods without leaving any microplastics and it is distinguishable or toxic residue 
which has adverse environmental uh, impacts, adhering to laid down standards of Bureau of Indian Standards and certified by Central uh, Pollution Control Board. So there are biodegradable plastic also in the market, which are some form of other polymers which are being produced from the other form of polymer, which can biodegrade up to some extent. And, you know, they are not the compostable plastic, but it's something else that it goes through a process of the de degradation. So some uh, categories of plastic, okay. Categories of plastics are, you know, in seven categories, they have classified some uh, terephthalene, which is your glass bottle, the plastic bottles, okay, the drinking plastic bottle, mostly commonly used to, you know, buy water or some source of uh, liquid, the uh, soft drinks, hard drinks, okay. Another is your polyethylene, very high density, that is PEHD, okay. Uh, we, we call it high density polyethylene, that is uh, 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 HDP, and uh, uh, milk and juice bottles, detergent bottles, shampoos, grocery bags, those are the HDP uh, category plastic. Next is your polyvinyl chloride, your pipes, okay, flexible pipes are there, uh, your plumbing pipes, your uh, food packing material, wraps, okay, the shrinkable wraps, the plastic that we use to cover the food, okay, toys are the uh, uh, examples of polyvinyl chloride plastic. Then is your low density, that is LDPE, LDPE is used for dry cleaning bags or bread bags, okay or uh, paper milk cartons and hot and cold beverages cup. Those, those is low density, very low density. Polypropylene, of course, polypropylene is majorly used in making package bags. Yeah, polypropylene bags are there with the tro trolley bag that we carry, that is a form of plastic, polypropylene plastic. Polystyrene. Polystyrene, known as uh, styrofoam also, okay, it's used for cups, plates, containers, supermarket trays, you know, trays that is used to lift the cans and bottles. And the last category is uh, bisphenol, bisphenol, any plastic item not made from the above six ones are part of bisphenol. So PMW rules means is plastic waste management rules 2022, which uh, says that uh, minimum thickness must not be less than 50 micrometer, okay, and minimum thickness criteria not applicable for compostable plastic bags or the carry bags, okay. Manufacturers of plastic carry bags shall get registered themselves with the pollution control board. Recycle carry bags not to be used for packing, storing, dispensing of uh, food items. And each carry bag shall have, you know, name and resistant number of manufacturer uh, as a of the trademark on, on the carry bags. Some responsibilities of owners, producers, and importers. Of course, I, when I, in the previous slide, I talked about extended producer's responsibility. So producer shall work out modalities for collecting back the system based on the EPR. And primary responsibility of collection of multi-layered plastic sheets or pouches or packaging of producers, importers, and brand owners. An action plan endorsed by uh, the Urban Development Department. Phase out of non-recyclable plastic in two years, okay. Producers within three months shall, you know, they have to get registered themselves. Okay, they have to take a license from the pollution control authorities. And no producers uh, after expiry of uh, six months shall manufacture or use any plastic uh, or multi layered packaging material. And producers shall maintain. So here are. Uh, some items with respect to the plastic waste management rules, which have been, which are going to get banned after 1st July in India and in the, in the domains and territory within the India are, you know, listed down here, which says that some 
plastic plates cups glasses cutlery okay spoons the forks the plastic forks okay the plastic straws sticks those uh, things like plastic flags or you know banners and candy sticks which are of, made up of plastic getting banned from 1st of july 2022 in india thermocol okay lots of thermocol is being used while we you know have any parties or celebrations and we use it for decoration purpose wrapping films you know sweet boxes or the you know uh, uh, the 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 e shopping items are somewhere around wrappings you know there are wrap, very thin film of wrapping is there it is going to get banned on of course on the cigarette packets the wrapping things are there plastic or pvc banners of less than 100 micron are getting banned india to ban single use plastic products okay and uh, what uh, can we do like of course the 3r principle that we discussed in our previous slides we have covered and what can be done as an individual level and when it comes down to you know reducing the plastic pollution okay so this are the uh, uh, points these are just a general points i have listed or jotted down but it's not limited to this uh, i'm sure the 88 number of participants who have joined uh, they must be having their own you know uh, thoughts right now they must be going through some thoughts that uh, this can be avoided or i can do this or i can use this uh, give this uh, item to my friend who can reuse it or who also can use so he or she don't need to buy it again and contribute in uh, generating less and weight of uh, waste right so uh, that's uh, to summarize over here to to you know uh, uh, let you know that what we can do to avoid plastic pollution so we ask ourselves of course we we have a thought we have uh, i mean a self talk self talk talk must be going on right now with you and your self that what you can do as an individual that we can you know refuse packaging wherever possible or you know where the items are not needed what is my uh, actual requirement and what is the requirement coming from where is the requirement coming from so we can ask ourselves and uh, yes we can say that i can rent it i can borrow it i can give it to my friend i can you know have a barter system that uh, with respect to goods and services we buy okay we ask our friend to buy some grocery for ourselves so that we don't need to you know waste our time and energy or the fossil fuel that is required to drive and get the vehicle to the grocery shop right one day we can go one day the friend can go okay we we have some you know uh, uh, the rides like Like as such, we we take a uh, uh, pool pool driving right while going office while going school. We have pool uh, uh, dr uh, driving where uh, carpool we do in India majorly in major cities we do carpools to save you know time energy and fuel every day. Buy things that are reusable, recyclable, compostable. Okay, uh, we we before buying we we give a thought that whatever product I'm buying. is it having any plastic film in it okay and if it is there is is it is it is it reusable or recyclable or is it compostable we check on it of course the manufacturer of that product will definitely go through his extended producer's responsibility wala check that we discussed previously but as an you know uh, user of that product we we must uh, check is it is it reusable recyclable or compostable avoid disposables and do not use single uh, use plastics and plastic cups and plates uh, we we encourage disposable items we must encourage uh, usage of disposable item which can be reused and uh, the of course email it's a, it's a world of email so no need of you know paper mails we buy products in bulk or concentrated from from wherever possible we use uh, reused furniture reused computers reused you know uh, other items give away or sell away items which are not uh, longer in use with us and 
you know, major is ACs and in the in the scorching heat right now and in summers we we may make uh, a point of you know using AC on a rational and reasonable temperature and carry and store food in reusable containers. So this is a small uh, you know list, but you must be having n number of ideas and n number of uh, you know self talk going on right now with you that what can be done at an individual level to adopt the three principles of waste management that is reduce, reuse, and recycling. Okay, so here we covered and uh, the topic for the, uh, we say, uh, the reduce, reuse, and recycle. And uh, here is one small uh, video that I would like to show you all with respect to the So please make a right choice and uh, not a, a, a single day is as such that we don't uh, rely or depend on nature or nature's gifts or nature's, you know, uh, uh, mother earth. Not a single day is as such that we don't rely on them. Every damn time, every damn uh, point of time we are relied on them. So let's make some choices let's make our habit as such that we choose which is you know less uh, which is which is creating less burden on on mother earth so with this i conclude my and with a request note to all the 91 participants that from today we adopt this three principles okay and make some you know reasonable choices to to you know uh, help our mother earth and lend a help in conserving the nature thank you and this was from my side uh, shilpa over to you thank you so much sir it was really a very informative and incredible session thank you so much sir for making this session a big success the webinar was really very amazing I would like to propose heartiest vote to th of thank to you, sir, for gracing today's webinar. Your presence and wise words help magnify our cause in best possible way. I would, I hope all the participants learned a lot with the webinar 
and i would really like to thank you sir for giving us your valuable time and i'm also very delighted to be part of this webinar and a hard beginning makes a good ending all good things eventually end i consider everyone as fortunate that they become a part of this webinar which was full of knowledge and which makes difficult to say goodbye i request everyone to please fill the feedback form which is provided in the chat box and you can fill the feedback form uh, for uh, which it is provided in the chat box and you can fill the feedback form within 24 hours through which you all are able to get e certificate within 15 days and remember don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and attach the screenshot of the same also again thank you all for attending today's webinar and if you have any additional questions you can contact us by email or telephone we are happy to provide additional support to you better is not good enough the best is yet to uh, best is yet to come i shilpa sharma your host of the day signing off on a cheerful note have a wonderful day thank you thank you thank you everyone thank you so much sir thank you shall i uh, sign off shilpa now uh yes sir you can all right thank you thank you thank you sir